Greetings, horrible croaky voice boy here. Apologies for that. My voice will be destroyed as the video goes on. I've just got back from Vegas and I'm jet lagged AF, so apologies for that. Uh, but yeah, just got back from AU, Autodesk University, where NVIDIA had a booth on the expo floor showing real time ray tracing, which I saw with my own eyes for the first time. It was super encouraging. We had three demos we had the Unreal Engine 4 demo, Maya, and Autodesk Red Professional, which is what I'm showing you here. We're starting to see real-time ray tracing come into games now, which is like, mate, great story. You can see fire reflections in your gun. You know, good for you. I'm not particularly interested in that at all. I don't see the purpose of it. But for the professional space in 3D rendering and visualization, it's super exciting to see this stuff now starting to happen. This is a very early development build of Autodesk for Red. Uh, it is, unfortunately, just mobile phone footage taken of the telly which has then been uploaded to youtube ripped off youtube and then put back onto youtube so it's the quality is just absolutely smashed but if you want to see the original i've linked it in the description below it was taken by pascal who's the product manager of red uh you'll no doubt be watching this so i'll have to be careful of what i say but when i first saw this my first impressions were it's encouraged but also slightly concerned at how jerky that is. That's not even 10 frames per second. And because this was the NVIDIA booth, I knew they were running this on two RTX 6000s, two Quadro 6000s, and they are six grand a piece. So this is 12 grand worth of graphics cards, and we're not even getting 10 frames per second in a demonstration environment. So um, I challenged them on it, and f f understandably they said, you know, there's a lot of optimizations that need to be done. Uh, driver wise and in the software so oh, fair enough is that going to take it from 10 to between 30 to 60 who knows can't comment on that but the second thing they said kind of took me back I, I just responded to it with an okay but they said also only oh, the data set's quite big it's 33 million triangles and I was thought to myself you're not demonstrating a Mercedes here you're demonstrating real-time ray tracing <laughs> rule number one of any product demonstration is that you know nothing should get in the way of showing the customer the product and the product is real-time ray tracing so if the data set is holding back ray tracing and the performance use a different data set strip it out this is coming from a place of ignorance by the way i mean i don't know if they were contractually obliged to show mercedes i, I don't know but if the uh, if the polygon count in the scene is causing an issue with the performance use a different scene <laughs> I don't know, does that not make does that not, is that not obvious i mean i, I don't know anyway the, the performance was a bit lackluster and very discouraging for those uh, mere mortals who have a mere single 2080 ti's poor us uh the, the fact that this is what we're going to get on two single rtx 6000s i was thinking. anyway it's it's very early days i not going to form an opinion yet, but based on the games that have come out and their performance, uh, I'll reserve those opinions for later on anyway. but So there's a few things going on here. I mean, first off, we've got uh, the reflections being ray traced from object onto object, uh, which is quite computationally expensive. That only happens when ray tracing is enabled. Uh, in contrast, this scene here, this is one I've put together. Um, and this is not ray traced. I was going to pretend, oh, look at this, is real time ray traced. Look how smooth it is. It's not. It's, I would have looked like a bigger moron than I already do. But you can see the wing mirror is not reflected onto the, uh, the car body on the door. There's just nothing there. If you turn around and look into the mirror, there's just no car there. There's, there's nothing ray traced. It's, uh, this is just purely open GL rendered on the graphics card with the, the area lights being reflected on the materials and also the IBL, but that's the HDRI background. But that's about it, really. That's not ray trace. But with some, if I do say so myself, clever shadows, lights, and materials, you can get something that looks that looks pretty good, and it's it's pretty smooth as well. I mean, the anti-aliasing isn't cranked up to the top, so it's a bit speckly around the edges. But the lens flare and the lights and the textures and the materials, even without ray tracing, looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's that's a scene that's not ray traced. Uh, going back to the scene that is ray traced, there's a there's another slight issue going. I say slight issue. It's probably a big issue. The development team, the area lights that are snaking around the car body look absolutely beautiful, but as they're dispersing light across the car body, the noise of the light is interacting with the flake in the paint, and they're using the tensor cores on the Turing architecture 
to denoise the scene. So they're using AI to denoise that noise and it's getting confused between the flake in the paint and the actual noise. What you're seeing here in the video, it's it looks absolutely terrible. That's because it's been compressed like twice over. But in real life, it still looked pretty bad. That was quite distorted and speckly and grainy. So there's a bit of work to be done there um, as part of the optimizations. You can see that as it gets up close. As it, I mean, it, it always will be a bit brighter there because that that's it's a thin light strip and it will concentrate light in that way. But yeah, the, the noise around it's going to be denoised using the tensor cores with uh, real-time ray tracing. That's something that they can work on. But other than that, it's super encouraging, mate. Really encouraging to see this come out already in the professional space. I'm not holding up much hope of seeing this in 3D CAD. Possibly applications like Revit might make it, but Inventor Fusion 360, the mechanical product design packages, I don't think this is going to come into that, if at all, ever. But anyway, yeah, that's that's it. It was just a quick one just to show you that this is now happening. It's very early days. I suspect we're looking at between 6 to 12 months before it's ready for product. If it's sooner than that, then bonus. I've no doubt Pascal will comment down below when it's ready or when he thinks it'll be ready or if he's even able to say that at the time. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's going to be quite a while. But I'm super encouraged. Well done to the Red team for doing this. They did say that they are so niche with an Autodesk that they're almost invisible. Uh, so to have a team like that who are invisible with an Autodesk working on bleeding edge stuff like this, it's a credit to them. Uh, and I hope that I hope they take this further and, and make something you know really 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 good out of it because it's it's got incredible potential. And I also hope that as me immortals with our single 2080 Ti's are able to use it to to some decent degree without needing to spend 12 grand on hardware. Which, to be fair, most of the Vred customer base can afford that quite easily times 10 but anyway mate there you go that's uh that's what it is red with an early showcase of nvidia's rtx real-time ray tracing in action over at autodesk university uh if you want to see more of that you can check out pascal's video down below maybe subscribe to his channel because he might post more updates on it or subscribe to the red channel uh, where you might see more stuff, right? I'm going to knock on the head there. My voice is like actually starting to vibrate my entire chest. So if you thought the video was useful, do hit the like button. If not, the other one is right next to it. Uh, and then subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. If I do get the the build, which I'm allowed to show with real-time ray tracing, and I will be showing it on the channel if I'm allowed to, um, or when it's ready for release in the final version, I'll be showing it there as well because uh, uh, I'm all over this, mate. I just love it. Uh, yeah, there you are, mate. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Two.